Let me show you how to conquer the, this enemy called delay. In childbirth. Look at 1 Samuel chapter 1. Verse 2 and verse 3. For now. And he had two wives. The name of one was Hannah. And the name of the other, Penina. And Penina had children, but Hannah had none. Now verse 3. I want you to understand the reason why they go to Shiloh. I know you are familiar with this scripture. I want you to understand what Shiloh is all about. And this man went up out of his city yearly to worship and what? Sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Hophini and Phineas, were the priests of the Lord. We are, I mean, Hophini and Phineas, the priests of the Lord, we are there. So he always go there. He and the family. And it's a family sacrifice. I want to show you why Hannah cried. She happened to be the first wife. But she, did, she didn't have children. The second had plenty of children. And this purpose of this fellowship every year is a, a time of worship and offer your word sacrifice unto the Lord. Maybe probably a sacrifice of thanksgiving for what they have done for you in a year. Every year only me. When am I beginning to offer for my children? When am I going to begin to thank God for the children he gave to me? People come and thank God for their life, their life, their life of their children and declare for their destiny ahead of the year. Every year only me. But Bible, the Bible didn't tell us that Hannah was absent in any day of the year. Even though she was never happy coming alone, but she keep coming. I tell you, it's a place where you showcase your family. That's what Shiloh is all about. So you will not know when they say, every woman come out with your children. Hannah will, uh, uh, Penina will come out with their uh, uh, five children, come out. They will line up there. The husband will stand at the back as the father. The way the other woman, she will stand like this. All alone. I want you to understand what provoked her. He asked God, which day my story will change. Where that will I come with somebody, if not be husband? And when the time was that Ekana offered, what happened? He gave to Penina his wife and all her sons and her daughters portions. They will come and collect according to their number. Did you understand? It's a, it's a time of family sacrifice. Family. Every woman, show your children and let all you and your children stand by the altar. But when it is the time of Hannah, she will go one corner and only she stand. Except the husband will come around and stand by her to support her. But the other woman has sons, probably three sons and two daughters. Five of them there, they will surround their mama, will hold them and begin to make their sacrifice. Because they have it up the man, every year. The man's budget is not for Hannah. Is for the children. The, the other woman, and because they, if you count five children, count their mama, now six of them. Hannah, not be only you. Not be, you be my problem. Anything can go your side. But this one. So you see the pain. Every year you keep, and they, she had been coming before the second woman entered. And this woman who you first enter, have children now, coming with her own family. Hannah, where is your own family? Look at verse 5. But unto Hannah, he gave a worthy portion. Just because he loved her. That's say it could have been possible. He not give him anything. But the Lord, no devil were there. It was not a human being. Shut up her womb. Verse 6. Watch. And her adversary provoked her so. To make her free because the Lord. When will I carry children? Come. Look at other women. Everybody by the altar with their children. Those who do live on the carry new women baby to offer thanksgiving offering to the Lord. I am always here to offer for myself. Even though I refuse to give up. But God, when will I come with my own children? If you watch, if you read down the, at the time the husband went where she was to console and said, am I no more than ten sons to you? He told the husband, you can only play the role of a husband, not a son. Because the husband, because he's only with the one who accompanies her when she wants to offer her sacrifice. 
But she was doing it. But that they say, Lord, my attitude will change in this fellowship. If you are the one holding me, if not human being, I will tell you lose me. But if now you hold me, why, why, why did you hold me like this? If not my sin, why not? They have? Show mercy. Verse seven. Have you read verse six? Six, verse seven. And as he did, so year by year, Hannah didn't stop. Every year she was coming with her sacrifice. She went up to the house of the Lord. So she provoked her before. I mean, therefore, she wept and did not eat. Do you understand that verse? Because she had become yearly to offer her sacrifice. Upon that, every year she offered that sacrifice, the problem remained the same. Another year she will still come with her sacrifice. That year she came with the same sacrifice. But he decided not to pretend as if all is well. Lord, I will offer this sacrifice, but I will pour my heart. I don't want to pretend anymore. I want to let you know the thing don't fool my mouth. I'm not enjoying it again. Look at this small woman who come yesterday, five children. All of them are dancing with her. Is there, you know, the man who will always want to pitch the tent where there are many. And she will be there all alone. So who even did there will believe that it was her sin. So believe that hey, maybe now their family they know they're born. A lot of things. Some will say maybe she can no, she's not a woman. But the Bible says it was the Lord who kept her waiting for a time. Maybe God is just, just kept it for a time to show the world that he is God. Just to prove himself. Because any man or woman who is waiting for Samuel, they wait a little longer. Samuel doesn't come in a hurry. But to get this man, you can get it anytime. Now, have you read your Bible? Ask yourself that those children of Penina, what are their names? What role do they play before the Lord? But Samuel, Samuel, Samuel everywhere. Samuel, Samuel everywhere. The Bible says none of his way fell on the ground. May God give you Samuel. If you rise up, say amen. You carry Samuel. Now, now watch this. I'm talking about how to conquer delay. Am I correct? Number one, continue in asking and attending programs, genuine programs you know that God is involved. Continue asking and attending. Keep praying. P-U-S-H, English call and push. But your Lord and call and pray until something happens. If something has not happened, keep praying. Don't seek for help in the wrong place because of frustration. Believe that your answer is coming. Shout it, my answer is coming. I can't hear shout it, my answer is coming. Put amen to that. Because you see, when another thing I saw, when people are tired of asking, they, they are ready to look for help anywhere. Please, I beg you, no matter the delay, don't seek for help in the wrong place. What you need is special children from God. If you collect from the devil, not yet. He went in my way. How did go near the cage? He bowed far no mega. Any nile na ja he ma. He went in my way. How did go near the cage? Ebo Alpha no Omega, Aninile Naja Kema. Number two, believe you are still qualified for the answer you are looking for. All things are possible in Jesus' name. All things are possible when we call on his name. All things are possible in Jesus' name. All things are crumbled. They shall be broken. 
All things are possible in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Believe you are still qualified for the answer. At what age did Sarah and Abraham have their son? Have your age got it to that level? And the answer is no. So believe it. He is faithful. Romans chapter 4 verse 18. What did he say? Romans chapter 4 verse number 18. Are you following me this afternoon? Who are against hope? Believed in hope. That he might become a father of many nations. According to that which was spoken so shall thy seed. So did now let me ask you, you under the sound of my voice, whether you're watching, did God promise you children? Answer me. If God didn't promise you, retire, resign. But if God promised you, wait for him. He cannot come late. Forget the doctor's report. At times, God allowed doctors to say their report so that your miracle will be magnified and your testimony become heavy. So that when it happens, you're gonna say no be doctor. No be, no be human being a God. You return the glory back to him. So that no man will share his glory in your life. Can I hear your amen? Look at verse 19. Okay, more. He broke more. Okay, more. Money lay. Look at verse 19. I'm being not weak. Now, you see, when you, are, when you give up, you're already weak. Did you understand it now? He, he, any man who don't give up, you're already weak. He said, Abraham, upon the delay, he was not weak in faith. Put it. He considered not his own body now dead. That's to say, from what the Bible told us, his body was no longer functioning. If you go back to that Genesis 2, 18, I mean, when the angel said, say that thy wife will conceive, Sarah laughed. Do you know why he laughed? Go to Genesis chapter 18, verse 11. Genesis 18, 11. And now, and now Sarah, we are old. And we're stuck in the age. And it ceased to be with Sarah. After the man. Do you know what it means? They don't come together again. They don't retire from bed. That's to say, but they don't tire. Yet, Abraham still believed. In the right sense, the woman go ask you, say, you wait on tire. And the normal way of having a child is that two of you come together and you don't have the strength again. And yet you are still believing. How will it happen? Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says he did not consider the weakness of his own body. He believed that the word of God is stronger than his body. When God wants to perform, little effort can perform miracle. <laughs> Look at it. Now, Abraham and Sarah, we are all striking the eight, and it seems to be we said after the manner of a woman. Verse 12. Therefore, what happened? Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am was old. No, be when Sarah be young girl. No, be when my husband, my young bobo, then. Even at that time, be, he said, Now, after I have was old, shall I have pleasure being. And he said, me, can I have pleasure? My Lord, being old also, he called Abraham, my Lord. Being old. We don't tire. And you are saying, by this time. If not you today, you go even doubt it. He said, if I pray for us, make our body begin walk again first. You know, pray for that one. You are not telling by this time. That was why I said aloud, say this people. When I make person life, he, he, he said this one I got no because do. When I foresee within the grand said, we don't retire. Marriage don't finish. We are just here like brother and sister. He and I did He and I Verse what now? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore they said aloud, saying, Shall I of a surety bear his child, which I am old? 
Now let's read verse 40. What did he say? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? He said, at the time appointed. Oh my yada bada ba. Man at the so he never did time. Relax. He never come. Forget your story. Forget your performance. Forget the wicked action. Forget the session. When he reach appointed time, everything will work. <laughs> Put it back. He said to say that. He said, at the appointed time, I will sack. He never did time. You are arguing with your doctor's report. You are saying that I cannot do this. He said, at the appointed time. I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall not be made. I am sure. I'm certain in what I'm saying. And Sarah shall be at his son. Are you with me? I need your attention. So believe it. Consuming fire. I worship you today. You are the all consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. Consuming fire. I worship you today. You are the all consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. Consuming fire. I worship you today. You are the all-consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. Look at that in Romans chapter 4, verse 20 again and 21. Romans 4, verse 20 and 21. He staggered not at the promise of God. Through what? Unbelief. He staggered not. You see, when you doubt, you are staggering. But was strong in faith. In the midst of delay, what was he doing? Was still praising God. You are the Lord that changed not. You are the Lord that changed not. He, he was still praising him. Abraham, why are you dancing? He said, because my children will soak up. God promised me, not just a son. He said, father of many nations. He staggered not. He was still giving him glory. Verse 21. And be fully persuaded that what he has promised, he was able to perform. That is where I end. last year she watched online in whether in one of the european country i think she said she stood in for her friend he said she have children when i say have three boys but no girl he said she wanted to have one more but the doctor warned her said you can't have a child again with your condition he said you want to risk your life he said she sowed a seed for herself and they have friend though she never no no how it could take happen he said but before you know it he and the friend conceived at the same time that she gave birth to a baby girl and the friend gave birth to twins. So many of you, some of you had that testimony. This God.
pray and may the Lord give you covenant children. Children that will make you proud. Now hear this. Abraham believed. Now point three, are you there with me? Always reject negative doctor's report. Always reject it. Doctor, talk on this. Hey, you don't talk your own, but let God talk. What God said is more important than what doctor said. And I, I'm glad I see uh, most of the doctors now, God is even using them. I'm telling you the truth. I know how many times. Even recently, a woman came. He said, doctor, in one of the special uh, medical things they organize in the state, he said, the doctor told her, said, you never hear this church. Go there and make God answer you. Because when you examine him, I know that he, this is not medical. He said, go there. He said, the doctor, give her my number. And me, I don't know the doctor. Siku said, turn to AA. Help me celebrate this God. So that's why you must not kill yourself. What the doctor said. What God said is more important. Tell me why you giving up on God. Tell me why you giving up on God. Tell me why you giving up on God. Hold on. Change is on the way. He pays it now. Chuku no so. Oki ni bun so bugi. He man no de a de gi de. Wan ne mo. Ji de si e e ke. He chanya di e. Chuku an de a se a se. Oga de re e ma. So. It's not every report that will bother you. I know as a person, hearing it at times, he goes said, that's to say no hope. Imagine when Dr. Telly said, there's no, your woman can no longer carry a child. Or Dr. told, I've seen some men, doctor even confirmed that the man seed is zero. He can't produce anything. And I've seen one or two in this house. One told me, I said, go buy anointing oil. This one is the medicine you need. I prayed on it, I said, go and drink, you and your wife. You believe is how I believe. Today, I think they have to. So believe it. He can do it. God can do it again. And again and again. He's the same God today. And he always has been. Yesterday and forever. He's always the same. There's no reason to doubt. God can do with a gain. God can do with a gain. And again. Can you sing it with me? He's the same God today. And he always has been. Yesterday and forever. He's always the same. There's no reason to doubt. God can do it again. Avoid negative voice. Men and women. Okay. Number four. Avoid negative voice. Number three, I said, always reject negative doctors report but number four avoid negative voice of men some people will tell you say still they look for baby for this age where you day even some of your blood brothers can tell you that who know your age tell you sister are you sure you just, you just rest thank god you are alive it's the voice of discouragement you get it we have seen 50 something years in this house giving birth one of the baby harvests we had in this house, a woman of 58 in Belgium conceived. 58 years. So reject negative oil. In a kuziri chukwal. Hasim. In a kuziri chukwal. Dion eme biye di ma. Adi a kuziri yorwe. Iyo kuru kone me. Number five, be happy always. 
Don't allow your problem or what you are going through to kill your joy. Be happy. Psalm 32 verse 11. Look at what he said. He said, be glad in the Lord and do what? And rejoice. You righteous and shout for joy all ye that are upright in heart. Ask him. Be happy always. Number six. Are you with me? Continue in giving. This is the last point now. Continue in giving and making great sacrifices. Continue in giving and making great sacrifices. Don't stop. Because the one you the seed you cast then never brought the harvest does not mean that it will not work. Continue until your cloud full. Some people did once and their own work. Some people did two, three times and it worked. But continue. Keep improving on it. Keep challenging God until your result come. Second King chapter 4, verse 9 to 16. What happened? Look at the conclusion point. They are very, very important. And she said unto her husband, Behold, now I perceive that this is a holy man of God, which passed us by uh, passed by us continually. Let us make a little chamber, I pray thee, on a word, and let us for, set for him there a bed, a table, and a stool, and a candlestick. And it shall be that when he cometh to us, that he shall turn hither. Verse 11. And he fell on the day that he came hither and turned in into the chamber and lay there. And he said unto Gehazi, his servant, call this Shunammite. And when he has called her, she stood by the him. And he said unto him, say now unto her, behold, thou hast been careful for us all this care. That's to say they have been given to the man of God for a long time. What is to be done for thee? Who does that be spoken for the king or for the captain of the host? And she answered, I dwell among my own people. Verse 14. And he said, what is to be done for thee? And Gehazi answered, Verily, she had no child, and her husband is old. Continue. We are stopping at verse 16. And she said, And he said unto, And he said, Call her. That's it. She came and left again. And when he had called her, she stood in the door. And he said, About this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. And she said, What is it? No. My Lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto thy handmaid. Why? Because they don't prophesy tire. All the ones who are done here, God go do and this thing. You go do and next Yet he didn't. He said, No. I sowed my seed. I gave to you, I built you house, not because I needed a reward. He's a part of my life. Let me continue. If God don't want to bless me. Verse 17, what happened? And the woman conceived and bare a son at that season. That Elisha has said unto her according to the time of life. I pray for somebody. By this time next year, you'll be nursing a child. By this time next year, I see you with twins. I see you with baby girl. I see you with a boy. Receive it in the name of Jesus. By this time next year. As we are hearing other people testimony this year who attended baby harvest last year. By this time next year, your own testimony will build somebody. I want to hear that amen. I see one, two, about 42 of you. By this time next year, it will be celebration. It will be celebration. It will be celebration. I see your baby boy. I see your Emmanuel. I see your Imawosa. I see your Chibike. I see that baby you have been calling and calling. I see twins in your hand. Somebody holla, I receive it. I see a woman watching me there. You are dancing already. Go ahead, it's settled. 
A woman watching me there, you are shouting, rubbing your tummy. Hey, I, I, yeah. By this time next year, now dedication. It takes nine months to deliver. Three months again, ah, yeah, yeah. You are your way. How far, Omega? You are your way. How far, Omega? You are your way. Testimony yesterday, one of the women who testified online that she was preparing for IVF. Am I correct? Close to the IVF after the program, she tested positive. Doctor was saying, No, let's cross check. You're supposed to start the process. Said, the doctor said, No, I don't need to start the process again. Already pregnant, I've tested. The doctor asked, Okay, let's check you. And they checked and confirmed she was carrying a child. He said she delivered a baby girl. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. How far, Omega? You are Yahweh. How far? 